Hi guys, what's up? It's me again, Coach Jerry. In today's vlog, you're going to meet my good friend, Natasha Rodriguez. Now, Natasha is also an entrepreneur and at the same time, she is also a martial arts practitioner like me. She's a practitioner of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Now, in this vlog, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna talk about the things we've learned in running a business during the lockdown. And at the same time, we will share to you the life lessons we learned during the lockdown. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will learn a lot from the things that we're gonna talk about. So guys, without further ado, here's the video. What's up guys? I'm with Natasha, my good friend. We haven't seen each other for like almost a year. Almost a year. We're, we're just catching up just now. Just now. So we just had uh, a veggie burger earlier at Shakey's. How do you find it? I thought that it was good. I don't know. Yeah. I can't consider it vegan, but it's a vegetarian option. My friend told me about this man. If you're watching, thank you for recommending this. Because I have a vegan friend, her name is Man. She told me about this. When we tasted the burger, it was pretty good. It was so sobrang, ano, sobrang it was juicy. Well, you see, if you want to pick out, you want to eat a burger, but you want it to be healthy, right? yeah. it's gonna be a good option. Instead of eating the real burger itself, this is a good option. Just in case you're on a strict diet, you're trying to watch your calories. The, the, the burger and shake is a good option. This is not a paid vlog. <laughs> We're just talking about what we eat. But yeah, it, it's a good option. Yeah. But now, it's not useless. We eat it shop and cake. We eat it and eat it. Boom! Yeah, calories too. But now, it's not. Fruity. Oh, it's not. Passion fruit with basil. She got the healthier option. I got the not so healthy version. But now, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's I know it's been a, it's been a tough year for everyone, but you know what? I believe that when when horrible things happen in your life, good things are bound to happen. And when horrible things happen, it's there to teach you a lesson, right? I'm curious, Natasha. What are the things you've learned this year? I know it's been a tough year for most of us, like in our business and everything. But what lessons did you learn this year? I learned how to be innovative when it comes to my businesses because I have my own skincare business. And oh yeah! Honestly, one of that one is suffering because I rely mostly on tourism. Mm -hmm. So now I started getting in touch with people through online networks. And thank God there's the internet. <laughs> yes, thank God for the internet. One thing I've learned, okay, this year, invest on online business online marketing that's one thing that i didn't really put much attention last year in the past years you should utilize all your social media social media accounts not just for socializing but marketing your business and i've learned a lot of things about marketing your business online because everybody's doing it online most businesses most what business platforms do you use for online marketing actually Yes, I know a lot of people are using Facebook, Instagram, and what else? What, what else? Facebook, Instagram, and this one, YouTube. But one thing I realized that a lot of people are not utilizing is TikTok and uh, LinkedIn. Okay, because most people are using TikTok for the, the dancing videos. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're a business person, you're a businessman, you're an entrepreneur, you can also post stuff on TikTok. I haven't started my TikTok account yet, but I am very tempted to create one because of business. You make and, me want to create an account with TikTok. Yeah, but not really doing dance videos, yeah. but, but more, more for business. And LinkedIn, the reason why you want to start stuff in LinkedIn is because if you post stuff on Facebook, Instagram, it's so saturated already. There are too many people in it. So what you post could be could be down in the list already. So that, there's a there's a high chance that people won't see what you posted. However, in LinkedIn, there are only few people in LinkedIn, so whatever you post, more people will see it. And the few people who see it, you'll never know. You might you might be able to do business with them. Actually, it happened to me this year. One of my friends who was in LinkedIn only found out about my business through LinkedIn. So it's been very useful. Kaya nga, it's a good idea to post in LinkedIn, in TikTok, not not necessarily dancing videos, because I see people. Posting other stuff in TikTok. Really? I'm actually tempted to <laughs> get an account on TikTok. Not for dancing videos, but be nice. 
it's really challenging to become happy during a pandemic when you can't go out, you're limited to doing things. But Saburo, the good thing is this thing happened during the age of the internet. We have we can read stuff in the internet, we can watch videos. Imagine more Natasha if we didn't have the internet. And this stuff happened. Cause imagine if you were this happened. Our generation goes crazy without Wi-Fi. Oh, Oh, that makes me feel young. Our generation. Okay, our generation. Because I know, guys, I'm 29. She's. <laughs> what am I, 20? <laughs> 20. Oh, yeah. So, yo, here. What else did you uh, learn? So, I learned that to cope. Well, I've learned to simplify my life, right? When it comes to uh, decluttering my home, my space. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. I understand. <laughs> But yeah, you know what? Decluttering is good. Guys, one lesson you will learn from here is less is more. The lesser things you have, the lesser problems you'll have. Like, I'll give you an example. If you have a lot of books, you have a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes that you don't use, it's just going to be... Donate them. Yeah, you have to donate them and give it to people who, who will actually use it. Because you know what? If it's there in your room and you don't use it, it's just going to collect dust. It's gonna make you sick. And remember what I said earlier, less is more. And you, it's gonna break. Yeah, it's gonna break path. If you remove this thing, if you remove these things that you don't use, it's gonna give you more space. And more space makes you feel good because you can move around more. There are more things that you can keep. Right? And you have lesser concerns on what to keep and what to clean, what to maintain. Right? So, actually I've learned it in the book. I learned that in the book. The title of the book is uh, Essentialism. You might want to check well, that out. Well, it's not the art of tidying up by Marie Kondo. Ah, well, I also, I also learned that from Marie Kondo. Actually, it's a, it's, they have the same lesson. Good, good, good lessons this year. Ako naman, it reminded me, it reminded me to watch my health more because last year, I, I realized I wasn't exercising enough. So if you've been watching my older vlogs, I was a lot bigger. I'm not saying I'm perfectly slim right now, but I was a lot bigger than last year in the past years. So now I'm making an effort to work out every day, at least 15 minutes minimum. But if I can do walking or running for an hour or more and do a lot of body weight exercises in my room, I really make an effort. Even if the gyms are closed, I really make an effort. And you also do the same thing. Yeah, she works out a lot because she has to maintain uh, her fitness level for for her sport because yeah she's an athlete she does jujitsu she has to stay strong show her show them your arms what are your arms ayan pa ayan na 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 ayan what are the things that made you happy this year, yeah, in spite of the situation? I'm, I'm just happy curious. happy that um, my home was safe during the typhoon. Like many people, their houses were submerged underwater. Yeah. Um, I'm grateful that the flood didn't reach our home. Mm. Wow. Okay. So I'm, I'm grateful that my dad's still alive. I lost my mom two years ago. So I'm grateful my dad's alive and that his health is okay. I'm also grateful that my yaya's with us. She was How old is her yaya now? My yaya now is, is 60 years old. But 60? She's, but she's been with our family since she was 18. Which she was the one I saw last time yes. in this picture, right? Yes. Oh, okay. And my dad's food business. Mm. We sell organic chicken and eggs, organic pork in the Sunday the Gatsby market. That has been stable and our delivery started picking up during the pandemic. Yeah guys, you can find her at Legaspi Sunday Market every Sunday. 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Catch us in the chicken fresh food. 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Legaspi Village. So they're selling organic chicken and eggs. And eggs. Organic pork and organic duck eggs. Salted and fresh. Guys, she's single. So <laughs> Yeah. Guys, it's almost Christmas. If you want, if you want healthier options for your noche buena, you know where to find her. And boys, if you're single, she's there. But again, she's gonna break your arm if you make her cry. 
<laughs> but yun, if you want organic stuff, organic chicken, pork. It's the first time I found out about the organic pork. Because what I've always known about what she's selling is the chicken. Pork, that's the main product. Why chicken? I think, no? Yes. Yeah, so you guys know where to find her every Sunday. Here. But you know one thing, another thing I like about what happened uh, this year, my realizations, my realizations for this year is parang dito ko nakita yung mga friends ko talaga who really care. Kasi, remember, what I've noticed kasi a lot of people are in their roo- uh, in their houses, they're stuck at home, they couldn't go out, it's hard to meet friends, like, look at me and Natasha. We just it's saw... Been over a year. It's, it's been over a year. Kasi she's been very busy with work. <laughs> yeah, I'm busy. I'm also guilty of that. So, yun. And you... other things. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, anyway, let's not get into that. So, man, I've been I've been very busy with work, especially specifically our businesses. So we only had the time with each other. So, one thing I appreciate this year is that I I noticed the friends who really made an effort to keep in touch. It doesn't have to be every day, even just once a month. They made an effort to do video calls, they or even just a phone call, even just a sh- even just a short one to, to ask how you are. You know what, for me, because I really appreciate that when, when people make an effort. That's my standard of friendship. I appreciate people who make an effort to ask how, how I am. Doing. Not just asking you how you are because they need something from you. Yeah. But really genuinely asking how you are doing, if you're okay, you're safe, whatever. And of course, I do the same thing. I ask people how they are. I check up on them. And actually, Natasha said that also. Uh, we, had a view, we, had, we, had, we had a few video calls uh, earlier, earlier this year. I think you were very busy the second half of the year. Yeah, because she was in Iloilo? No, in Locostur. Uh, Locostur. She was in Locostur for some training. So, I know she was very busy during that time. But we had a few chats. So, they're actually, to my friends who are watching, that I had video calls with, I really appreciate that, guys. Love you guys. So, there. I really appreciate the friendship. I really appreciate the people who really showed that they sincerely cared this year. So, yeah. So, yun. We're actually in Dean De- Dean and Deluca right now. The dessert here is really great. The cakes are really great. The milk tea here is really great. What did you get? I had a passion fruit basil yeah. fruit tea. Ayan, yun. So, yun. I think they're about to close. I know, they're <laughs> like making noises because oh, yeah. out. But there are a lot of people outside. Ayan, look. Okay, look at that. Ayan, Bill. Thank you. Marlaman! Come on, Nadia. I think we have to cut this. Bye. But, guys, thank you very much for watching. So, guys, don't forget to visit her in Legaspi Sunday Market, Sunday, 7 a.m. To 3 p.m. Memorize ko na. Ayan. If you want organic chicken, organic pork, and organic eggs. So guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, tick the like button below. If it's your first time in my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Watch out for my upcoming vlogs when it comes to motivation, life skills, work skills, martial arts, and other fun stuff. So guys, my name is Coach Jeric. This is Natasha. Thank you very much. Bye. Much love. Take care. Stay safe. God bless. Peace out.